Okay, guys. How y'all doing? Bob and Conway here again. I'm uh, going to make a uh, quick, maybe six-minute video here, thereabouts, or six. Well, not even that. I suppose for the main part of why I'm doing this one. Um, <coughs> it's now um, almost uh, quarter after twelve in the morning, guys. Uh, quarter after twelve, after midnight. Again, I don't know why I don't know when a new day starts. No, I think it starts at midnight, doesn't it? Doesn't it start at one or whatever. So it's uh, let's say it's uh, twelve thirty a.m. Uh, Monday morning here now. Uh, not twelve. I want to say quarter after. Here we go. My mind's gone, guys. Don't mind me. You know it by now. Anyway, um, we're having some snow here now, guys. Uh, so this is, um, this will be the 8th today, <laughs> which means I'm 57 and a half today, uh, for all that matters I suppose. But anyway, so um, the day is just starting now, uh, and uh, maybe an hour, a couple hours ago we had a little bit of uh, flurry, I don't know what flurries? I don't know the proper terms for half the stuff guys. But anyway, it starts snowing a little bit, and uh, it's enough now that it's uh, on the ground and it's uh, co everything covered white and all the rest of it. Um, now I just took all my window decorations down there a moment ago. The window's bare here now. It's late at night. We got a nice uh, fresh sprinkling of snow and so on. So what I'm going to do right now, if I can do it without any freaking problems, I'm just going to go out to the window. I'm going to make a quick little recording of the street and the night and all the rest of it sorting. Hopefully it's going to be enough light to be able to see everything sensibly and just record the moment here. So, as I was saying, it's uh, Monday morning at uh, quarter after 12, uh, January the 8th. So. All right now guys, and I didn't turn my stereo down again, so I'm going to get another copyright claim. So here we go guys. That's the first time ever since I've started doing these videos that I'm able to uh, record the stuff uh, See guys, this is what I'm saying, no matter when I try to make these videos, morning, afternoon, night, I never get the, uh, somebody for a lady next door now, I believe. So now this is our second sprinkling now since uh, about a month ago, a couple months back, a month and a half ago. Some poor old song moving out next door over there. So now this is why I'm doing this right now, guys, because uh, I'm making as many recordings of as many things as I possibly can here now before I have to go myself. So uh, see my last uh, winter scene now from the uh, front of the house here. I don't know if there's some poor old Ukrainian person down there that's uh, come to town or not. Could be. That's a uh, uh, it's a rough old situation here in St. John's now, guys, for, um, for a lot of people, an awful lot of people. I found that out firsthand now over this past uh, several weeks and so on. Now I'm waiting to do the other side there. E da, da, da. You accompany me. You accompany me. Yeah, now I wanted to make a quick little six minute video of this scene with nobody around, so on that after midnight, and still not possible. Screen window, so I don't know. But, oh, okay. Mm. Guess it works better that way. So yeah, so like I said, guys, my time is up right now as well. 
uh, end of this month. I may have everything moved out uh, before the last uh, few days of the month. Uh, come back and uh, do whatever I need to do with the house and so on. I have to make sure it's uh, acceptable for the owner. But I'm sure she'll find something, to, some way to try to keep my uh, damage deposit. I just, every part of me is telling me that that's what she's going to try to do. But I mean, I'm trying to do everything in my power, and I to leave this place in every bit as good, if not better condition, as when I moved in here, which is what I do with every single freaking place that I've ever lived at yet. You know, for all the good it, it does. And uh, so uh, I'm moving from a three bedroom house now, guys, to a uh, one room bachelor place. You always saw me other video, or it's already uploaded to a YouTube if you want to look at it. So a huge, 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 huge come down for me, guys. Huge come down from what I've been used to now for the past eight years over here. So my life's been ripped away from me. My home has been ripped away from me. What I can consider my own for the past eight years. Neighborhood I've lived in, area of town I've lived in, all been ripped away from me now, guys. And I gotta start a new life in a new place, a new area of town, and hope everything's going to play out well. And I'm not grumbling too much, guys, because um, you know it could be worse. It could be far, far worse. Uh, I managed to get another place in time. Uh, you know, before my time was up here, I mean, I got another month here yet. Well, over a month and a half yet, I suppose. I actually had to be out but uh, it's just it wasn't going to work guys I, I I wasn't going to have the money for next month's rent quite likely not what I was uncertain about that now but uh, my biggest fear even beyond that guys was that I, I was just not going to have a place lined up uh, at that date you know and uh, I was going to end up having to move out and uh, you know put everything in storage and uh, well, a tractor come up right now shortly enough and um, stay in a shelter or something, you know. And that's providing there was any shelters available to stay in, you know. Uh, or, you know, just end up on the street. So rather than take the chance of that, guys, I uh, had this chance for this place. I got it, thank God. I put a down payment on it. And uh, now I'm moving in uh, this month rather the next month and hopefully before we get the worst of the snow or two so this is what I'm uh, worried about and this is like I said the first uh, noticeable sprinkling now uh, since about a month or so ago and we're supposed to have a storm now come um, Tuesday I think so uh, so 20 centimeters of uh, snow, maybe more, and uh, so I don't know, guys. Um, that's not sure if that's quite a foot of snow or not. But I mean, it don't take much to build up and create a problem and all the rest of it. So, one of the big things I was trying to avoid, that I was really dreading, uh, was the very, um, very fact of um, having to move my stuff in, 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 in bad weather conditions and all the rest of it. You know. Uh, Several, I shouldn't say several feet, I suppose, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. You know, the way snow piles up, and you got to shovel it, and you got snow banks, and all the rest of it, and always, you know, you know what I'm talking about, guys. All the freaking nuisance problems trying to move stuff in the, in the wintertime. Um, doing anything in the wintertime for that matter, you know. Uh, I was worried sick about that, and uh, so, so far, so good. I mean, now we're into the first week of January, not a lick of snow. We haven't had any snow in weeks. Now it could change drastically and we could get the weather now that they're getting in other parts of uh, Canada <coughs> and even down in the States and all the rest of it that we've been blessed to not have so far. So uh, continue, we're going to continue to move my stuff out in bits and pieces and so on. Uh, a friend of mine came by today, he's been a real lifesaver. I think maybe he's going to help me to move everything out, which wasn't what I was expecting him to do but he's going to be kind of, it seems like he's going to be kind enough to do that which is going to save me a huge uh, problem guys and possibly uh, an expense that i didn't really know if i, I was I, how i was going to pay it you know take care of it so uh I'm, it looks like i may not have to worry about that part of it now i'm going to lose some things that i didn't want to lose but i think i might be able to salvage the bulk of the stuff that uh, i was really wanting to hold on to so i'm i'm pleased about that Still up in the air about my cat, uh, guys, how that's going to play out. So far, I'm able to keep her. Um, like I said, I don't know how the place is going to be for her sort of thing. So, uh, you know, um, 
I don't know. I mean, I hope it works out, but uh, I, I can't force myself to go through this again in, an, in another month or two or three months time, guys. I can't go through it again anytime soon. So uh, if there is any big, huge problems uh, with her being there with me at this new place, uh, I mean, rather than lose the place, then I'm going to have to force myself to give her up, I suppose. And it's going to break my heart like mad, guys. It's, it's, it's the toughest thing in this entire move that I've had to kind of think about, to, to have to accept, you know, the possibility of having to give her up sort of thing. Because where I'm moving to is just not suitable. <coughs> it may, may not be suitable for her sort of thing. So, um, the, um, the situation still isn't completely um, 